name's Phil Mayhead, I'm a consultant gastroenterologist. I've been a consultant now for about 11 and a half years. I generally do a lot of endoscopy, including therapeutic endoscopy, but I also consult on a number of luminal diseases such as irritable bowel syndrome and inflammatory bowel disease, and also can deal with a number of liver issues also. So irritable bowel syndrome, or IBS, is a condition that's very, very common. It's about 15% of the population have irritable bowel syndrome. It's a condition that can blight people's lives and make people, you know, despite it being an entirely benign condition, it can have a significant impact on people's ability to work and socialise and have a, a good quality of life. So it is an important condition to, to manage and manage well. It is a condition where you can get diarrhea or constipation and a lot of patients do complain of abdominal pain and, and bloating as well. It is a very important condition for the individual simply because it has such an impact on, on somebody's uh, ability to, to function sometimes. Well, historically, irritable bowel syndrome was a diagnosis of exclusion in so much as you would do a number of other tests to look for various different things that can look like irritable bowel syndrome and then ultimately come to the conclusion that the diagnosis is IBS. There isn't a sort of a positive test that one can do. However, the diagnosis in, a, in, the, in, the, in the typical person, and that generally would be a younger person with, with gut symptoms, can be made through some simple blood tests, a good history, and some stool tests as well to sort of rule out things that mimic irritable bowel syndrome. And so it is possible to make the diagnosis without undertaking endoscopy necessarily. But there, is a, there are things that mimic that condition, and so there are, other, there are times when further investigations are required. Having said that, it is also a condition that can be diagnosed in, in older age. Whilst there are many other things that can look like irritable bowel syndrome, there are many other more important, perhaps, conditions that, that an older person may have. Uh, someone who's going to have a diagnosis of irritable bowel syndrome made when they're older may undergo more invasive investigations to ensure that we're not missing anything of significant concern. There are a number of medications that one can give for irritable bowel syndrome. There's the things that one can buy over the counter. So for the spasming part of the condition, you can use things like buscopan, which is readily available over the counter, or more things like peppermint capsules and oil. It's also another well-known medication that one can buy. Equally, there are other medications such as Mebeverin or Colofac, as it's, uh, as its trade name, that one can buy also from a chemist. From someone like myself, by the time someone generally comes to see me, they have spoken to their GP at length over probably a number of consultations, and we tend to go down the route of ruling out other things first and then offering things like dietetic input, because actually changing your diet and looking at the triggers for your old gut habit are very important. And so we will often investigate as required and then get some dietetic input to manage things over the longer term. There is a role for other medications such as antidepressants in the irritable bowel syndrome. We don't tend to use painkillers per se, uh, but we will sometimes use antidepressants as a form of pain management in some people with very significant symptoms. If you do have symptoms that are, are problematic and, and want to get them evaluated further, then by all means I'm, I'm able to go through the various things that you may have and assess your symptoms and do some simple investigations and perhaps some more invasive investigations if needs be. We do offer a comprehensive means of investigating these, these symptoms further. So by all means make, make contact and we will see what we can do to help. Mm -hmm.